The secular Yiddish movement has completely failed, sadly, to produce new generations of real native speakers who use it on the street and in school. And that is a big failure of our Yiddishist movement. In America, in Canada, in England, in Israel, in Australia, in South Africa, and so forth, we cannot blame Hitler and we cannot blame Stalin. It didn't work. We have today several hundred to several thousand enthusiasts around the world who have Yiddish clubs, who study Yiddish literature, but the secular culture is becoming an intellectual and literary toy of educated people, of people looking for roots, of people with all kinds of interesting motives, and it's all, and it's producing good scholarship and research. However, Yiddish is completely secure as a spoken language among the Haredim, the Ashkenazic ultra-Orthodox, mostly but not entirely Hasidim. Something like 80 to 90 percent of this living Yiddish, which will bring a million Yiddish speakers in a few years from now, very big families and um, a very little loss, a cultural loss to the outside world, about 80 to 90 percent is non litvish Yiddish. It's Polish, Hungarian, Ukrainian, the southern dialects of the great Hasidic dynasties like Satmar and Belz and Vizhnitz and Ger and so forth. However, there are several groups that maintain a Lithuanian Yiddish. One of them, paradoxically, is Chabad Lubavitch, founded by Shneya Zalman of Lyadi, which, of course, I visited also on the border now. It's in Belarus, but on the border with Russia, and, of course, Lubavitch itself, Lubavitch, not far from, from Vitebsk. Um, many Lubavitch have forsaken Yiddish, but in its Crown Heights headquarters in New York City, Lithuanian Yiddish is still very strong. A second fascinating phenomenon is the Yiddish of the ultra-Orthodox of Jerusalem, where since the early 19th century, when the students of the Gaona Vilna moved there, Lithuanian Yiddish has been established as the dialect of all the groups, including the Hasidim who believe in grandmasters from Ukraine or Poland or elsewhere. They speak a Litvish Yiddish. Our investigations so far lead us in the direction of thinking that it's the Yiddish of the area of Pinsk. We have found the most similarities between Jerusalem Yiddish and Pinsk Yiddish.